Hi, it's Pat Gillis here, and this week we've been getting a lot of questions about what kind of treats to give horses, so I thought we would address that in this video. See you inside. So as I say, we're in the middle of our summer camp right now. We get asked about treats, like asked a lot about treats, because the kids all like to bring something for the horses. If a horse doesn't belong to you, or if you don't know the horse very well, you should always ask the owner or someone what that horse is allowed to eat because they could be on a restricted diet, they could have ailments that you aren't aware of or an allergy to some kind of food, or they could just be older and maybe have trouble with their teeth. Horses can actually tolerate quite a little, quite a lot of different kinds of food, but you have to always remember that they have a very delicate balance in their intestinal tract and I don't see any real reason to upset it if you don't have to. I just keep it simple. I like to stick with the traditional kind of treats like apples and carrots. Now I know a lot of people add sugar cubes to the traditional treats, but for me, like I, I mean one or two cubes of sugar every once in a while isn't going to hurt a horse, but sugar is no better for horses than it is for us and so if we tell the kids when they come to summer camp that the horses can have sugar cubes, you know they're going to get way too many sugar cubes. So even though carrots and apples are my favorite, there is something I should tell you about carrots. I would never cut carrots this way and give it to a horse, okay? Because that piece is pretty much the perfect size for a horse to choke on. So if I'm trying to make um, carrots smaller or thinner for the horse, let me just cut that end off, it's a bit ratty, I would always cut them in lengthwise. Mind you, don't cut your fingers off, I'm kind of dangerous with a knife. Okay. You know, so if I'm trying to make a smaller carrot, that's the way I'm going to cut it, never this way. So some people don't like to feed horses by hand at all, and I get that because they can sometimes get a little bit pushy. We have a couple of horses in the barn that are like that, and for those horses we just put their treats in their bucket. So if you're going to feed a horse by hand, you want to make sure that you keep your hand nice and flat so that the horse doesn't mistake your fingers for a carrot and let the horse take it off your hand that way. You'll see is that sometimes kids, when they're nervous, they'll start to, or anybody, adults too, I guess, if they're nervous about feeding a horse a carrot, they might start doing this kind of thing where they kind of pull it away because they're scared that the horse is going to actually go. That's more than anything causes horses to get kind of grabby when they're, um, you know, when you're offering them a treat. If the kids but you know, even traditional treats can sometimes be a problem. If you've got horses like Cash, he pretty much just inhales his food, and he's had a couple of incidents where he's choked, so we have to make something a little bit softer for him. One of the sort of tests that I do if I'm deciding what treat I should give a horse is I will put take a little piece of the treat if I'm not sure you know, how the horse will react to it if he's a choker, is I'll put that little treat in a bit of water and I'll just watch to see how long it takes the, car uh, the uh, treat to disintegrate. If you put a carrot in a cup of water, it's pretty much forever. And that's why he doesn't get carrots anymore. But he does get treats, they're just softer. So this is the kind of treat that we make. We have a <laughs> homemade recipe for this, which I'll attach at the bottom of the uh, video. You can look for it down there. And this is a nice treat because it's actually quite soft. And if you put it into water, it'll disintegrate fairly quickly. And Cash, as you can tell, really, really likes them. Oh. One of the things you have to remember is that a horse is designed to eat little bits of food all day. That he's hardwired to be grazing his whole life and picking up little bits of food all the time. So a horse will always tell you that they're open to having one more little bit of food. And sometimes you just have to sort of break it, you know, be a little tough about it and restrict the treats. Okay, the one last place that I like to use treats every single day is when I do the last feeding of the night. So we'll come out around 8 o'clock at night, we give them some more hay, and then we check their water, and then I go back through the barn one last time and I give everybody a couple of carrots. That for me is just a great way to have one last check on them at night before I leave them. Um, you know, if somebody doesn't come out looking for their carrots or their soft treats, I'll know that there's something wrong and it's something to check on. My school horses work hard teaching people how to ride, and I like them to know that their efforts are appreciated. So we give them treats here, we're just careful what kind of treats we give. So that's it for this week. If you're watching this anywhere besides at our blog, go on over there, scroll down, leave a message, tell me what kind of treats you use, and remember to look down below so you can get the uh, recipe we use for our treats. And in the meantime, remember to thank your horse. See you next week. Hello.